Okay, gonna work on the module today. Um, two things I need to do is I need to trim some of the foam. Well, I need to trim a lot of the foam. But the first thing is, and I'm gonna show you this. Hold on. Okay, if you look here, let me get this out of the way. If you look here, if you look here, when I bonded the pink foam to my module, it didn't stick as well as I wanted it to. So it's up a little bit here. It's up a little bit there. And so how I'm going to address that is as follows. What am I going to do is I'm going to drill a hole down in through the pink foam. I'm going to lift it up and then I'm going to put in liquid nails into the hole. Let it spread out and then push the foam down and hold it there so it can uh, adhere. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, we're going to lift it up. Let it kind of ooze out there. So I use liquid nails to uh, get this to hold down straight. So anyway. Yeah, with this, this is still the edges are going to lift up a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I can always fill that in with a little hydrocal or plaster, whatever. Next thing I'm going to do while the liquid nails dry dries, I'm going to start hacking away at this foam to give it more contour and, uh, you know, make it uh, contour of, of the ground or the surface level. So what I'm going to use is my DeWalt multi-tool and that makes it cutting the foam very easy. Once the foam's all cut, then I can sand it and give it a smooth contour and then go on and paint it with a, with a ground color and then start adding ground cover and, 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 and sifted dirt. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to cut the pink foam. And one thing I, I do recommend is wear a mask because this gets really a lot of little dust particles and you want to breathe those in. So we're going to start. Let me get that out of the way. And there's two ways I approach the cutting. At first, I'll start here. Again, this is DeWalt multi-tool. And I just get in there, following the contour that I've created here. This is going to be the kind of the higher side of a riverbed or a dry riverbed. So, I've already cut all this, so what we want to do is, now that we've cut under it, we want to come in on the side, and cut like this. Now I stopped there, because that's the edge of where my bridge is going to be, so I'm going to have to cut that whole section out. So once we do that, then we start going like this. just start picking them out. And you can cut down this way. Flick it up. Oh, and save your pieces too because you can use them for filler or uh, Again, 
again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just have to get the sections out and then you can work on sanding it later. And I'll have a video for that when I start the sanding. <laughs> And then just keep repeating the process. So now I'm gonna, since I'm kind of getting a little, uh, getting a little stash of pink foam, I'm gonna put it in my bag. And as also you can see, as you start, you know, kind of working away at the foam, you start to, you know, get a vision. It's kind of encouraging, actually. It gives you a vision of what the terrain is going to look like. Now, obviously, it's rough because you're just cutting it out. But once you sand it down and make it smooth, it'll look really great. And then you can start with your scenery. But as you can see, you start to get an idea of what it's going to look like. And it kind of encourages you. You're like, ah, keep going, keep going. You're, you're making progress. So we're going to keep doing it. Make sure you vacuum up because it gets really dusty. Okay, that's it. Big thing is to make sure you clean up afterwards. Oh, I still didn't get all that, but that's okay. Clean up afterwards, vacuum because there is a lot of dust. Make sure you get the ground around you. But as you can see, and I'll uh, let me bring it up close. Okay, as you can see, you start getting an idea of what the terrain is going to look like. It kind of gives you a vision and gets you motivated a little more. You say, hey, I'm making progress and I'm making it quickly. So anyway, that is the module update. And the next one I'll do is how I'm going to figure out how to mount the bridge. Because i got to cut all this out and make sure I can mount it and all the dimensions are, are good. So anyway, that's the video. Have a great night, guys. Bye.